guys, uh, I'm Andy and uh, I'm going to be doing a rum review today of Angostura 1919. Now, Angostura 1919 is uh, made in Trinidad and Tobago and uh, you'll find it in the North Southern Caribbean, just off the northeastern coast of Venezuela, in the, in the Lesser Antilles. Uh, Angostura is really famously known for the Angostura bitters and uh, first formulated in 1824 by a Dr. Siegert. Um, they moved into rum production back in, in the 1940s when they made their um, large distillery. And, uh, but Dr. Siegert was blending rums way back in the 1900s. Um, this rum itself, um, 1919 is uh, made from heavy and light molasses and it's aged for eight years in ex-American bourbon casks. Um, the the name on the, if I open up the, uh, take it out of the box, nice box it comes with, tells you a little bit about it, but there's the bottle itself. Now 1919, the name of it comes from a, an event that happened in the Angostura um, past history. Basically, in 1932, a fire broke out in their um, distillery and aging warehouse. And uh, a, a guy called J.B. Fernandez, upon um, inspection, they came across that there was a, a section of barrels that were badly charred, but they didn't actually uh, burn through. So this guy bought them, and upon inspection, he noticed that they were labelled with 1919 was the year that they were filled. So when they opened them and tried them, they were of unusual character and taste. And so they blended a formula of rum, which they called 1919. So that's where the name comes from. Um, you know... This rum here, I'd say the bottle wise, I really like the bottle. I think it's got a lovely shape to it. It's a, you know, it's more more of a dumpy bottle. I like that. Um, it's obviously cork top. I, I, you know, I do like a cork top preferably. I'm not keen on screw top bottles. But if I pour a glass, we'll see what it's like. Now, first of all, if you have a look at the colour. It's got a lovely golden hue to, to the rum itself. Very clear. The clarity on this rum is exceptional. It really is. Um, straight away, I've taken that top off and I can smell in here um, vanilla. It's a beautiful, sweet smell of vanilla of this rum. Um, there's a, a back, back uh, smell of molasses. Um, caramel you know all the all the, the, the normal you would expect but this is so sweet it's got a gorgeous taste i love the smell of this rum it really is nice it smells so lovely i almost want to dab it on my face and use it as an aftershave it is it is really nice you would love it honestly um i'm gonna take a little taste and see what it is what it tastes like Now, first thing that comes to mind is the smoothness of it. Very smooth rum. It's beautifully smooth. Um, you straight away get the the taste of vanilla, obviously, the beautiful vanilla flavour there. Sweet caramel. Almost go into candied fruits, I'd say. It's sort of like real sweetness and a fruitiness to it. There's a hint of molasses. you taste it, the, the, the sweetness fades out. You get a little hint of molasses on the back end. Um, a little tingle of pepper is there on your tongue. It's really beautiful rum. It really is nice. And all these flavours, they sort of come in, but with an underlying light oak to the to the to the to the flavors it's beautiful it really is nice um we go to try for the finish and see what we think of what it's like it 
It's a really long, sweet, warming finish. Um, and it's so Moorish, you want to put the glass straight up and take another sip. It really does. It really is nice. It's amazing. It's a really good rum. I, I you know, I like it. This is a. I've not tried uh, Angostura rums. Not this is the. I think this is the first one I've tried of Angostura, and I really like it. It's, it's pleasant, and the good news is the price-wise because at the moment I've had a little search around, and you can pick up a bottle of this for twenty five forty eight. Um, I found that on Amazon. That was the cheapest I could find. I set some of you guys out there might be able to find a, a better price. If you can, post it on my, on um, on the uh, channel so that uh, the, anybody out there interested in getting it can see if they can get it a bit more of a bargain. Um, you know, Angostura, they have got a rum out at the moment. It's called Legacy, and it's they're only releasing twenty of the bottles, and they're priced at $25,000 a bottle. It's held as the world's most expensive rum. Sorry guys, I won't be doing that review for you, but you know, the dreams are always there, aren't they? Anyway, hope you enjoyed the review, and um, until next time, my name's Andy, cheers.